Welcome to Allow Me To Be Frank. Uh, we're recording on a uh, Tuesday night, so some of the stuff you hear might be outdated by the time you're listening. Uh, game 7 of the uh, NLCS is going on right now, uh, but I'm intently watching the end of this devils Canadians game, and the Devils had a 4-1 lead, now it's 4-2, and they just uh, yeah, look like, they, they're, they look like they're, they're trying to sit on the lead. And you know what happens? When you sit on the lead, you shit on the lead. Frank, you know what? I was just thinking about this mid mid uh, conversation that you just went on that little tangent there. You'd be a great commentator. I think that uh, once a year, the Mets or maybe a Triple A or a Double A team should give you a chance in the booth. What I mean, I'm about? better than uh, I'm better than fucking uh, Chris Convert. <laughs> or uh, Tony uh, Tim uh, Tony Romo. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, he moans in in the in the. And then yeah, then you put on uh, baseball on Fox, and it's uh, 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 John Smoltz. You know, John Smoltz should be hired by the uh, by the um, people who can't sleep foundation. You know, people who have uh, insomnia, the Insomnia Association. Uh, okay. They should put him on and uh, let him uh, talk. And I think uh, he is uh, the cure for insomnia. Yeah, for sure, Frank. Yeah. So, what what would you uh, obviously the Mets, but what would be your ideal in the booth for Frank the Tank? Uh, doing an ending of uh, baseball with uh, Keith Hernandez. It's Keith Hernandez's only. I think he'd get me. He'd get you. Yes. You guys think that you guys are on that same wave? Like, you guys are parallel to, like, what you guys are talking about? Well, Keith Hernandez, Keith Hernandez doesn't uh, mince words. Okay. All right. And I don't think Frank the Tank mince, minces words. I don't know why I keep calling you Frank the Tank, but, uh, yeah, there's that. What's up, Jenks? Golly. This damn clock doesn't want to – this game doesn't want to fucking end. And the Devils just hit on their fucking heels. Ever since they took a 4-1 lead, they've had, I don't think they've had one shot on goal. I'm I think that – I'm just like Brendan, Brendan Smith was fucking whipped on a puck. Uh, giveaway. God damn, I fucking hate him. Brendan you know, the Devils have two. The Devils have, uh, the, the, the Devils have one total fucking bum. His name is number two. Uh, yes, he plays like number two, and he wears number two. He's Brendan fucking Smith. I've gotten to know he him well is. very quickly. Now, yeah, I'm, okay. I'm doing well, Mikey. I'm watching Frank watch the Devils game as we're, everyone's hearing right now. Um, in the first period, he called me screaming uh, because the Devils had given up a goal, and he claimed that a Scott Van Pelt logo had popped up on the screen with his head spinning. Oh, and then yeah. some other things, and then said, "All right, I'll talk to you later." And then we got off. And he, uh, did, then they took the goal away, and instead, then they had uh, uh, to, uh, Scott Van Pelt kid dancing on the screen. Take it away! Take it away! Take it away! Yeah. Okay, now, uh, side question, totally unrelated. Hey, Jenks, how many uh, walks have you guys been on in a row lately? 27. Uh, so, so 27. So, Jenks, you have been with Frank at a minimum of 27 days straight? That is correct. That's a minimum. It might be more, but Frank. Okay, confirm. all right. So, a minimum of 27 days, and you've been hearing about every single Frank bet. I know they're not Frank sports teams, but I know they're Frank bets. Frank, how have your uh, sports bets been, have been? I've lost 219 straight sports bets. Jenks, have you heard about all of those bets? I think everything that you hear Frank saying kind of like, you know, publicly, as you know, none of Frank's stuff is an act. Right. So I absolutely hear all of it. Yeah, I lovely. hear it first. I hear the progression of it. But I've gotten... And, uh, and uh, Scott Van Pelt has now won... Uh, uh, 108 million straight bets. Of course. Mikey, I've gotten a tiny bit better. I'm not at your level yet of when Frank's telling me complete, utter horseshit. Yeah. I can sniff it out a little bit more, oh, and I know how to ask the right questions to get him to laugh and admit when he's just lying. They're just called Frank facts. They're literally just yeah. called Frank facts. They're not even lies. They're Frank facts. He loves testing me, though. He'll throw nuggets at me all day just to see what I what I figure out and what I don't. Come on. Five, uh, 444 left. I'm a little distracted, as you can tell. Yeah. yeah to the listeners, yeah, Frank, worry, Frank. full-blown watching a devil's <laughs> game. Right now. Just call it as it is. Yeah, I mean, uh, 
the they've had their ups and downs so far this season. Power play has been terrific. Uh, defense has been kind of shaky, which you kind of expect. The Devils don't have a great defense. Uh, goaltending is a little iffy. Uh, the, the, that's a slow they, start, they, right? They keep it on. Did you that, see, do you see that again tonight? Just another slow start, giving up a goal, like another bad first period. Yeah, they, uh, in, in every game, this is their fifth game. They've uh, given up the first goal in all five games. It's crazy. We're always coming back from behind. Oh uh, boy! Ever since it's been ever since it was four to one, they haven't uh, done jack shit. Oh, uh, speaking of Jack. You wanted to say Jack Hughes. You you consider him the magic man. A couple guys on Twitter came back hard about a former player having that that title. Any well, uh, well, uh, Pavel Datsuk is retired, so there's a new magic man. His name is Jack Hughes, who, by the way, with three assists today, has tied the record for uh, uh, fastest uh, most uh, most points through the first 13 games at 13. Dude, in, in Jack Hughes' first year, you would not – I mean, obviously they drafted him high, but you would not expect him to be what he is now because of how – he was like a little boy. He was like yeah, a he kid. really was. He really was. He was 18, and he looked like he was 13. Yeah. He was, Mike, he was the first – he was the player I looked at him. I was like, oh, my God, this guy's getting – he shouldn't be out there. I, I He really got manhandled. He was like really, really – I wouldn't say he sucked. It's just that he just looked like a boy out there against men. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad that he got that year because if he didn't get that year, who knows if it will take him another year to adjust. So thank God yeah, he got in there yeah. and saw his competition. He, well, uh, after that year, he he, bulked up, he started bulking up a little bit. He started growing. Roids. Uh, you, know, you know what? What? what you say? Steroids, Frank? Did I say steroids? Maybe a little HGH? Uh, well, you know, you don't stop growing at uh, 18. You, you I know, Frank. Growing. I'm just, just joking around. You don't have to take it seriously. God damn it. Give away with the goalie pulled. God fucking damn it. Thank God. Another distraction. Frank, you, have you ever seen Jack live? Uh, Jack Hughes? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen him live. Yeah, he's, I actually saw him his rookie year. The way I saw him his second year, actually. That's when he was starting to grow into it. Yep. Uh, well, he got the game-winning goal on... Uh, Opening night, and he threw a stick in the uh, the uh, end of the crowd. Yes, yes, dude, that he's great. Uh, we have him in our fantasy team, Frank. Yeah, yeah. The two top scores in our uh, in the NHL right now are Jack Hughes and Alex Brinkat. And we can't give anybody else credit besides our great producer Mike DeFrisco, who drafted that for us. So uh, shout out, Mike. Frank goes, man, Mike, Mikey, you drafted a really good fantasy team, and I was like, dude, I didn't do anything for that team. So it was all it was all Mike drafting and then Frank's doing the pickups and I'm just chilling. We got one player. We got oh, one player that's, that's that's struggling so far. Who? Alex Ovechkin. Oh yeah. Well, whatever. That's all right. We have him tomorrow. He's like a fine wine. Well, we're talking about one of only. There's only two players that have scored. Well, there's three players that have scored 800 goals. Uh, but there's only three players in NHL history that scored 300 goals. It's Gretzky, Gordie Howe, and Alex Ovechkin. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. There's a good chance that Ovechkin gets to 900. You think so? Yeah. He's got to okay. start scoring, though. He's off to a slow start. Yeah, he, he's off to a slow start. He, uh, 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 but uh, if he puts up his normal numbers, he'll pass Gretzky next year. Okay. It's, it's always been funny to me that hockey players can last so long because of how grueling the sport is and how hard it is on the body. But, I mean, Ovechkin's been playing forever, and he's going to play longer. Well, he is, he's not as old as you think he is. He's how, – how old do you think he is? 38. He's, he's 38. Do you know that for sure? Um, I believe he's 38. I think he's born in 85. I mean, 38 to still be elite is – he was born in 85. Yeah, he's – He's 38, yep. I mean, 38's yeah, I old to still be a, a dominant No, no, you're right, you're athlete. right. But, but, you know, there's been some hockey players that have played for fucking ever. Yager, I know, yeah, no. Chelios. Yeah, yeah uh, Chelios played into his 40s. Woody Howe retired and then came out of retirement to play with his sons in the WHA and then played another NHL season at the age of 52. 
Chris Chelios played in the AHL for a while after the NHL, too. Yep, Chicago Wolves legend. Never forget. Uh, and uh, Yarmir Yager is currently playing uh, like in Czech, uh, the Czech Republic in Russia. How old is he? He's uh, he is uh, 50s, right? he's 55, I believe. Bro, do not get on skates at 55 years old. Oh my God. Begging for your knees to be broken. <laughs> Begging. I, I believe he's a uh, shit, shit, shit. Yager is 51. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, 51? I know he's older than that. But yeah, he, well, he's over 50. Frank, what's the shit, shit, shit? Uh, the break, uh, two on one with the goalie, but the goalie made the save. Um, Frank, are you at all excited about basketball season? I feel like when I talked to you earlier, you were, you, eh, whatever, no big deal. That is basically how I feel about the NBA every year. Yeah, yeah. I'm a hockey guy. I'm a I know hockey you're guy, hockey guy Frank. You're hockey guy first. What are you? Wait, top, rank them right now. Top sports, Frank. It's always baseball one. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, you missed. Chipotle <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> just uh, Chipotle missed an empty net for a freaking hat trick. So baseball's one. Football, hockey, basketball. Yes. Okay. And football is basically only number two because of how short the season is. How about you, Jenks? What is it? NBA and then everything else. Yeah, mine is mine oh, baby, is go. football, football. Mm-hmm. Yeah, basketball. Hat trick Chipotle. Can and you? Then, hey. Give us more color, Frank. What's going on? Uh, Devils leading 5 2, 25 seconds left. The Foley just got a hat trick. Do we get a woo? Woo! Speaking of woo! Speaking of woo! 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 The boys got to meet Ric Flair this week. How was that? That was last week. Last week? week. Did we talk about it? Oh, yeah, we did talk a little bit. A little bit. Uh, I like Jim. He's he's a the devil's organization are the absolute best. They treat Frank the best. And we're working on getting that footage of Frank and Ric Flair, the woo off, up on the big screen for the in game experience when they have the Ric Flair clips. Um, We're very hopeful that they'll green light it, but we know that they're trying. Dude, that's great. That would be be awesome. Uh, Shout out the devils. Welcome. Yep, um, and we and we uh, and of course next week uh, after the show we're gonna uh, we'll be heading to Chicago next week. We're gonna be going to uh, the October fifth uh, uh, the Devils game at United Center against the Chicago Blackhawks. They're one to Chicago this year. Yep, uh, I, I, I'm actually gonna be excited to see uh, Jack Hughes going up against Bedard. I mean, Bedard's uh, Bedard's uh, the, got the can't miss potential. I mean. Uh, yeah, maybe Bedard will be as good as uh, Hughes one day. Uh, but he scored. The Devils he game scored tonight. Final. The Devils game just went final. Let's go. Final. Uh, that's a good win, you know. Uh, um, and uh, Devils just made me happy. And uh, you want to make your dog happy. So okay. Make your dog happy with BarkBox. Make your dog happy with BarkBox. Two toys, a treat, and a chew, and a ship gift right fully to you. So make your dog happy with BarkBox. Make your dog happy. Yes, that's right. Make your dog happy with BarkBox. And uh, uh, use uh, BarkBox.com slash tank and a free extra month for you subscribe. So make your dog happy. Barfox.com says tank. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Uh, you know, uh, let's start about the NBA for a little bit. Uh, let's talk about it. Uh, tonight, the NBA season started. Uh, kind of weird that uh, both games are Western Conference games. Uh, agree. That the, um, that the uh, second, the first game, the tip-off game, was the Nuggets against the Lakers, which usually... Uh, um, which is the uh, banner raising? They raised the banner today. They got the rings. Uh, the Denver Nuggets got their uh, championship rings. Uh, yep. uh, banner. The banner was actually. I like the banner that they did. It was a, a nice looking, simple banner. Kind of, kind of a little bit better than the garish banner that the uh, Vegas Golden Knights right, rose. But you know what? Garish is Vegas. But uh, the, they rose the banner tonight in Denver, and the uh, uh, game just went final with the Nuggets beating the Lakers one nineteen to one oh seven. Uh, triple double for uh, Jokic, twenty nine points, thirteen rebounds, eleven assists. 
best player in the NBA. Um, yeah, I mean, he's dominant. And he just came back from just a right with the horse racing, you know? The guy's dominant. Yeah, do- dominating the league right now. He's just, uh, I mean, he might go down in history as one of the best second-round picks of all time. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. I can- well, name him. Let's think of uh, the best second-round picks of all time. Well, I, I would say since the uh, since the NBA's current structure, because yeah. when there was like fourteen teams, uh, second round pick was a little bit different back then. Correct, correct. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we'll rank them later. Uh, yeah. For Ginobili, Parker. Was Parker second round or late first round? I thought he was a late first round. I thought he was like twenty eight. He was late first round. Might have been twenty eight. So Ginobili. Who else was second round? That was really great. I mean, to be uh, second round MVPs, I don't think really exist. Yeah, that, that's crazy. never existed. I don't think that's ever existed. Besides, like in late when it was restructured, for sure. In the old uh, days, in the old days, in the old days when the Warriors made teams, it was different. So, yeah. a couple of names: uh, Gilbert Arenas, Draymond Green, Marcus Saul, Michael Red, Dennis Rodman, uh, Richard Michael Lewis, Carlos Boozer, Ew. Um, DeAndre yeah. Jordan. You're naming some some guys that had two to three All Star years, no yeah. All Famers outside of Rodman. Yeah, so Jokic yeah. is probably the best second round of all time. Yeah, just yeah. Rodman would be number two behind Jokic probably. And then well, probably uh, Draymond Green and Manu after that. Yeah, for yeah. sure, Draymond. Probably next. I, uh, I just flipped on a baseball game, and we are now at a critical stage. While I'm watching a three-two lead for the uh, Diamondbacks. Oh my God, that's yeah. crazy. What inning? It is the sixth inning. Oh my god! Can you paint the picture a little more vividly for us? Well, they were uh, they were down two one. I think the Diamondbacks just scored uh, taking the lead, and uh, they have a reliever on the mound, side armor, and he got the first batter out. Mikey, I think you're right. Frankie commentators, are powerful. Pretty, it's going, it's going. You know, this reminds well. me of uh, this reminds me of when. Uh, Mike and the Mad Dog would watch the uh, NCAA <laughs> tournament while doing their show, and they'd uh, actually talk about the uh, game. But you know what we, we want to do is uh, we want to do a little bit of an NBA preview, I think. Uh, Absolutely. I, uh, the NBA, uh, NBA preview I was published by Barstool today. Um, I think, I think uh, NBA usually is the talk. I mean, the usual is, there's very rarely a, a team that will surprise you and, and shock you. Uh, but um, I think I think the Bucks are going to win the championship this year. Do you think? I mean, you think it's going to take time to build that chemistry, though? Or you think they got it? You think all right, cool, we're good to go, we're gravy. Damian Lillard will just be a plug and play guy. Yeah, I think uh, Damian Lillard is going to be a plug and play guy. It, it's Giannis's team. He knows it's Giannis's team. Everyone knows it's Giannis's team. Yeah, this guy just got. This, you see the contract, Frank? No, I didn't. Three years, $186 million. The guy's getting paid $61 million a year for the next three years. It's almost a million a game. That's well, that, means, that, means, uh, that means the Knicks focus now shifts <coughs> really to Joel Embiid, who, 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 who has been hardened and wants out of Philadelphia. James Harden, dude. What a, what a fucking – what a piece of shit. What a piece uh, of shit, dude. I, I, I would be heartbroken if the Knicks did a Carmelo Anthony type trade for Joel Embiid. We have a lot of good young assets, and Embiid's injury prone, and he's never won anything. He can't get past the second round. You guys got rid of, I mean, the Knicks got rid of so much for Carmelo Anthony. It's not even funny. We mortgaged the whole the whole house. So yeah. uh, we need to uh, we like our and, team. Uh, and like one of the like picks the Knicks gave up. Jamal Murray. Or no, Jokic, right? It was Jokic. But new Knicks season starting tomorrow night against the Celtics, who have traded yep. their heart and soul, Marcus Smart, their interior defense, Robert Williams, their third man. I now, don't really like the moves the Celtics made. I think the Celtics why. Are going they them down. They've given yeah. up all of their depth and interior defense for a little bit of offensive razzle-dazzle and Drew Holiday, who's not always on the court. I think and Chris Stops for and, and, and Christoph uh, Christoph Porzingis is kind of uh, kind of uh, made of also wood. Yeah, he'll sit out what thirty games this year. 
Brad, that would be, Mikey, that would be a huge win for them if you only missed yeah, 30. Teams. I know. I know. That would be their oh, – Yeah, we'll see. Brad Stevens thinks he, know, he knows what he's doing, so we'll see. But I don't think – Update, one, two, three, any for the Phillies. We are on to the seventh inning, I believe. And the Diamondbacks have a three to two lead. Mikey, as a Bulls fan, I feel like you guys are probably in a position where you're going to have to make some trades this year, whether it be DeRozan, Levine, both of them. Or do you think, is the team healthy at all where they, they can try to get in playoff position? I think we're going to get in first place this year. I think we're going to be fine. Right. No, I really, I don't know. I, it's going to be like, why are we, Frank, be quiet. Frank, stop. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Mikey, stop! I know, I know. I'm not. I'm not gonna. He was do joking. He was joking. It's a joke. The ceiling is to play it. Oh, come on, Frank! Give me the seven seed. Give me the no. Give me that the is, six seed. That's playing. That is the play in. Yeah. Give me the. Oh, okay, fine. Fuck it. I'll take the play in. Yeah, no, that's not that much of an insult. That's a fair ceiling. Didn't the Heat make it to the finals? Exactly. I think that's, I said to that. I, all right, there you go. Aren't the Diamondbacks about to uh, go to the end? And uh, who did the Heat beat in the play-in? Stop, Frank. Why you got to keep doing this to me, dude? <laughs> so you're just saying we were one game away from the finals. That's all you're trying to tell me is if we beat the Heat, we would have been in. Well, honestly, you never know. You go on a run. It's not I, honestly, I like Honestly, I think that is the Bulls' logic. Like, I really do think like AK is thinking, like, hey, uh, we really – oh, we, we, we lost to the Heat by a couple points here. And, like, I don't know what they're thinking. I know that we're still I, running. I know that insurance with uh, we're getting money back for Lonzo, but like, I mean, why? You know the risk you're gonna have when you sign a guy with a knee injury. Their whole family's hurt. Why are you gonna sign him? I I like the deal, but I didn't like. I don't know. It's, no, he's, it's, he's, I'm he's scrambled in my head when I talk about the Bulls. I'm going though tomorrow. Um, obviously, I got to cover the Knicks game as well, but I'm going tomorrow to the Bulls game. I'm gonna be painting my face. So uh, just look out for me. Yeah, I'm going going all out tomorrow. I can't fucking wait. I'm so Sick excited. Of it. Hey, hey, Mike, we got some beef later. Maybe we could bring it on, on the podcast too. But uh, it was Mike's birthday last weekend. You know, hey, shout Have out to Mike the Frisco, 30th birthday. Had a nice little party. I was at home. Sick invite, Mike. Let's see. Any reply? Why do we have why do we have beef? Because it was my birthday and you didn't say happy birthday. I said happy birthday. <laughs> no, my wife planned a nice surprise party. I'm sorry, my wife doesn't like you. I, dude, your wife hates my guts, dude. Off Speaking camera. of last weekend. What? Speaking of last weekend. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, Frank. Go ahead. Yeah, screw us. What were we saying? Quarterback, is there a quarterback controversy in uh, in Chicago? Well, I mean, Tyson Bagnant. Uh, Good segue. Yeah. Good, good segue, segue, Frank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, looked, yeah he looked pretty good. Good segue. Yeah, Mikey, you know what? So what's your response? <laughs> here's our here's my response is start the guy the rest of the year. Like, what's the worst that's gonna happen? Wow. Yeah, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Uh let's go for the, a Caleb. The Bears fans game. feel that way. Fuck Justin Fields, next man up. There's a lot of people that like a lot of Ooh. Justin Fields fans will not say that. Obviously, like I do want to see Justin play and pan out, but how many? Uh, we've already been through like two, three years of watching this guy going. Eh, 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 I don't know. Now he's got weapons. Some ga games he looks great. Some games he looks terrible. I mean, dude, like Mikey, who do you want to start? Who are you starting? You're the head coach. Who's the starter? If and both players are healthy. Both yes. players are healthy. Well, Justin's the starter. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna play Justin. But let's say two weeks from now. Uh, we're on a three-game win streak. Tyler Badgen is, is throwing fucking 250 yards, two touchdowns a game, whatever, winning us games, finding a way to win the games. Then, yeah, we're going to ride hot. I, why would Those you not ride hot? are so sad in your fantasy, your quarterback's throwing for 250 yards a game. That's like your – things are going great. That's fine. <laughs> well, yeah, honestly – Each quarterback throws for like 450 a game. You wish you could get two fifty. <laughs> yeah, but four fifty is like unreal. Like that's unrealistic. I mean, that's I know, like I know. I'm a, a just record breaking. You know what I'm saying? Like two fifty, I will be happy with when it's like one ninety seven or maybe two twenty five and uh, one touchdown interception, and we lose the game by like you know. It, that's where I get the problem. Seven and, carries, a fumble. Uh, I, I think the good news though for the Chicago <laughs> fans is uh, even though uh, you got sliced, dice and uh, fricasseed in the first game of the season. 
it looks like Jordan Love sucks. Oh yeah. Well, we've known that. Mike knows that too. I mean, we've talked about this. We Packers are a bottom five team, and people aren't talking about it. They're he, they're terrible. Yeah, they're, they're, they're bottom, very bad. They're not good. They're not good. They're gonna they're, they're gonna lose about eleven to twelve games. You see, well, Jordan Jordan Love had ten through ten passes to ten different or no. Ten receivers had catches, and not one of them had over thirty-five receiving yards on. So, how about that? That's he has no he has no offensive weapons. Right. Their offense is horrible. He, uh, he had uh, he had two passes. He had his two touchdown passes against the Broncos. Who were like just completely fortunate. One was a uh, simultaneous possession, could have been intercepted, and the other one like bounced off of bounced off of the like, the head of one of his receivers into the hands of another. Which team do you think is in? Worst shape right now going forward, the Bears or the Packers? Which is more desolate? Oh, uh, well, Jenks, I'll give you the answer. Okay, thanks, Frank. The team that's more desolate for 2023 is the Chicago Bears. Yeah, the team going forward that had that's in a better shape to turn things around faster is the Bears because if the season ends today, well, actually, I don't think that's the case anymore, but. The Chicago, Bears, the Chicago Bears currently own the number one pick, uh, pick and it's Carolina Panthers pick. They, the Panthers are probably the worst team in the NFL. Gotcha. Have they won a game yet? No. They have not won a game yet. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, that's we awesome. Have, we have the number one and number three pick if the season ended today. It's God, kind of crazy is, if you think so about it. Like, so the, the, the Bears are going to finish with a bad record. The Panthers are going to finish with a bad record. They're going to have two high, high draft picks mm -hmm. that can really turn things around. God, I hope they don't fuck it up, boys. Well, they will. They definitely they, will. They definitely will. That's going to be a thing, and then it's going to be talked about in 10 years, and then, you know, it's, it's the same cycle. I feel like we're in the I, same cycle as we were with Matt and Ryan part one. Now we're Matt and Ryan part two, and it's all, well, we, we want to fire this coach and this and that. Like, it, 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 can yeah, I make a bold NBA prediction? Yeah, yeah, bold NBA. Um, I think that Jalen Brunson is going to have a real coming out party this season. I think he's going to oh, be yeah. an NBA All Star for the first time. I think he's going to average over twenty five points a game and almost ten assists. And I think going into the playoffs, by playoff time, not only are the Knicks going to be a high seed, they're going to be a feared deep team. It might not even be a hot take because I feel like that's I mean, it is a hot take. Yes, uh, ten assists and twenty five points, especially for Brunson. He's the great. Knicks are, the Knicks are a sleeping giant. Yes, yeah, he did not take a day off playing basketball this summer. Jalen Brunson has been in the gym. And if you saw him in preseason, he already kind of looks. I mean, no, he already looks mid season form. So, and you already know how Tibbs is. Tibbs has got those guys in the gym day in and day out, studying and this and that. And he's finally got a, like guys that will buy in because guess what? When you take a guy like Jalen Brunson, you say, all right, hey, you buy into my program and I'll take care of you. I'll get you the guys that you want. What did he do? He signed all of the, his Villanova buddies. And guess what? That creates chemistry. You build that with the other teammates. And, dude, Tibbs knows how to coach. Tibbs knows how to build chemistry. And that team is going to be on fire this year. Anybody and, uh, that, anything bad about that, a, a team about Tibbs is, is wrong. And, 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 and Eva Shenzo is a spark off the bench type three point assassin, Kyle Corver clone. Yeah. Yeah. With better defense. And, Mikey, I think you make great points. And I think Tibbs gets a lot of shit that I think is unfair where Always. The, Der the Derek Rose injuries, the Joaquim No injuries. I don't think those were um, because of the way Tibbs played guys. Other no, guys like no Joel Dang, Jimmy no. Butler, they all went on to have great careers. I think what you just said, Mikey, was spot on. If you have players that Derek, buy Derek, – Derek, yeah. Derek, uh, Derek Rose's injury was a freak injury. He just – Yeah. He just, on a, just, just twist it wrong on a dunk and a breakaway. It's just – Rebound. But, yeah. in the NBA. But it's like when Tibbs was in uh, Minnesota, Carl Anthony Towns and those guys were too much of bitches to handle him. So oh, they guy, with the Knicks, he's they're he's buying in and it's working out. Who's Carl Anthony Towns? Yes. Tissue. Yeah. yeah. If they trade for him, I will be broken in half. That would literally kill me. I don't know why they would do it because I feel like Tibbs, Tibbs would not allow like that kind of work ethic on there. I, I agree. But that's my one hope. Yeah, uh, Jenks, Jenks, Carl Anthony Towns is coming to New York. 
Frank, if that happens, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make your hatred of Vogel fat look like sweet the good news love is, of a young baby. The good, the good news is, I think he's going to Brooklyn. All right, good save. I like that. That's Ew. a good thing. He, and that makes sense. Is, perfect for Brooklyn. He is a Brooklyn net type of player. I agree. Big name hype and just diva won't win. I love it. Great pick. So. No character quits. I mean, that is, that's the hallmark of a Brooklyn Nets player, a quitter. Mikey, I think Leon Rose would want Cat because he's a CAA guy, but I think yeah. you're right that Tibbs, because of the Minnesota experience, I think he's blacklisted from Tibbs. I think it's that, yeah, and it, it's the buy. Like I said, like Tibbs is a big buy-in guy. If you don't buy into his program, yeah, he'll Cat's you not out. like that. Cat thinks right. he's one of the great big men of all time because he won like a three-point shooting contest. That's He's not how joke. it works here. He's a no. joke. D -d 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 no matter what you say, it's always the same thing. You got the Minnesota Timberwolves. But real quick little Bulls recap. Yeah, I, I have no idea. I hope they do make a trade. Um, I know that Levine, if they, if Levine's not getting the touches that he wants and he's like a repeat of last year and two years ago where he has all these complaints and this and that, and he's going to force his way out because that's what players do now. They force their way out of town. So we'll see where he wants to go. And hopefully we can get some trade value for it. DeMar DeRozan wants to stay a long-time bull. And guess what? Like, I don't care how old DeMar gets. He's still an efficient player. Mid-range king. You could always be a mid-range king for another three more years and still be fine. But, yeah, the Bulls are pretty much in hell right now. And uh, I can't believe Levine's only 28, but it yeah. feels like he's like 33 and he's always injured. Always, dude. But he's yeah. still only 28. He's not that old. And the Bulls win, like, they don't win games without him. But if they had a different structured team, I feel like we wouldn't have a problem finding ways to win games without him, if that makes sense. He makes $40 million a year. It's Just not that old. much. In a, it, but it's not going to be that much in a couple of years from now, yeah, which I yeah. understand. I definitely understand that. But get him off my payroll. I just figure Can it out. Up there? The Arizona Diamondbacks have added a run. It is now four to two in the top of the seventh inning. Dude, oh, it's I feel bad because, uh, dude, shout out Max, big Phillies fan, and also I think Big Cat has a, a huge ass bet on them. So that's fuck the Phillies, fuck the Phillies. Well, you know, this is the Phillies season for part. The Dolphins this weekend, absolutely. You know, Fuck Philadelphia. That fucking goddamn motherfucking Brunley shove needs to be outlawed. And then last week, yeah, yeah, referee, uh, referee, uh, referee ref was in, uh, what? That ref had money on that game. How many pass interference calls penalties. and how many penalties they did not call <sighs> on the Eagles is insane. I think it was 10-0, right? It was 10-0, and there were a couple of questionable penalties against the Dolphins, and just about eight missed penalties against the Eagles. Yeah, it was terrible. It's terrible. And uh, Frank heard from SVP, which I then checked, and also can confirm that Robert Kraft's son will be refing as the lead oh. referee and in charge of all replay management for Patriots uh, Dolphins this weekend. That makes sense. So, it does check out. Yeah, Scott Van Pelt is now in charge of uh, signing referees. I, I made a meme of Scott Van Pelt that I don't want to release until later. I can't wait to show it. Oh man, I can't fucking wait. Um, Frank, mute your mic. I want to tell you. I'll tell you later, Jenks. But it's fucking hilarious. So you'll see later, Frank. Well, I, uh, I, uh, I, I hear that him and uh, Buster only are going to buy are building a time machine to change the result. You can't do Buster only talk. It's October. The Mets Mikey. are nowhere to be found right now. On our walk today, we passed a certain type of uh, institution, and. At <laughs> later on in the walk, uh, Frank started explaining to me how SVP was building this time machine to go back in time and change the 1986 World Series. And I looked at Frank and I said, listen, you can get away with saying a lot, but if you start claiming that the Mets didn't win the 1986 World Series because that, of Scott Pelt, you might end up in that institution, buddy. <laughs> yeah, Those are just Frank facts. You know, sometimes I let him go in one ear out the other. Sometimes I, I, I question him. I, what is this? What is he? Oh, okay. That's a Frank fact. It's just a Frank fact. And that's fine. Uh, what's the update, Frank? Nothing? We've uh, just put Zach Wheeler in the game. Trying to, oh. to, to hold on. 
we're missing the revenge game right now. Revenge game for Chris Paul. He's uh, on the Suns right now. I just forgot about that right now. I just remembered it. No, he's on the uh, Warriors. Yeah, he's playing. He's playing the Suns today. Oh, playing against the Suns. Yeah. Yeah. Revenge. You know, game. you know how you uh, you know you get you know you are getting that you know uh, you know uh, Chris Paul's spirit animals Dusty Baker never won a game seven. Oh, Frank, come on. Is that his dad? No, it's not his dad. It could it, might it, be. It, you know how you uh, you know how you, I, I I was actually looking it up. Every season that uh, Chris Paul has played, he's also lost Game Seven the of uh, the regular season. I say it every year. I want to uh, every you episode. Just, you just you just you just go into Chris Paul's ear and go. I want to live in Frank's. I want a VR of Frank's head and just see what his world looks like through his perspective. And I want to leave it, obviously. I just want to put him on the, the glasses for like an hour. And like, you know those scary movies when like all of a sudden the, the zombie comes charging at you? What? In, in Frank's VR, it's like that, except it's SVP and his Buster. head fucking spinning. Out of He's got like a million dollars shooting out of his fucking pockets. We're Buster going on a beautiful like walk a, on a the street, street, and Frank suddenly does that. Do you hear about SVP? Oh my God, dude! It, it could be worse. It could be anti. It could be uh, Antonio Brown. Uh, uh, fuck child support with his cartoon there. Yeah, true. Hey, could be, could be, could be him. But you're not. So there you go. You no, know, literally, literally uh, Von, uh, it's, a, it's all Vontae's perfect spot. Oh yes, yeah, hundred. Yeah, um, Frank, do you want to get into our picks real quick? Because yeah, in, this, in a second. But by the way, uh, little perspective on the Antonio Brown. Uh, Posting, <laughs> he had spent uh, a week in jail for not paying child support, and that was the first thing he did was put that cartoon out. Yeah, that's crazy. He's a crazy person. All right, so we're getting ready to do our picks. So uh, you know what? Before we get our picks, we need to start looking for some hot stuff. Looking for some hot stuff, baby, this evening. I need some hot stuff, baby, tonight. I want some hot stuff, baby, this evening. Yes, that's right. We have partnered up with the hot stuff sauce. So we made an XO taco on Syracuse University Hill in Syracuse, New York. It is the best hot sauce you can ask for. So go to hotstuffsauce.com and get 10% off your order by using promo code TANK10. That's 10% off your order with promo code TANK10 at hotstuffsauce.com. Get the hot stuff sauce you've been looking for. And, well, I'm a feeble motherfucker in these goddamn motherfucking picks. Yeah, I think I'm definitely taking a chug of hot sauce because I went 0-5 in my NFL picks this week. Uh, that is stinky. Very, very, very stinky. So I will be taking a chug of hot sauce. Probably the uh, – I'm going to punish myself. I'm going to do the uh, the Chili Reaper. I'm going to do the Reaper one. And um, I'll take a Zin as well at the same time. So there's my punishment for going 0-5. Self-punishment. Um, and then bigger punishment, I'll do the Zin because uh, I don't have my picks in this week. I will have them to Mike later today because of my car situation. So, uh, yeah, shout out Mike. You can see he's in a car. He makes the show oh, run, and he's still made tonight ha uh, work, even though he's having cars. Well, we got to get it. so let's let's put the, make sure we get our post uh, our picks posted for the fans. Uh, the NFL Thursday and NCAA Friday slash Saturday. Yes, so we're going to have a scheduled post out for you guys where it's going to be daily. We're going to have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're going to have it on Frank's schedule, and it will be weekly. No more of the Wednesday where it's just three on one. It will be the Frank way. Now, can I ask, even though you guys won't give me the throne because you're scumbags, as king of NFL, how did I do last weekend? Ask Mike. Ask Mike. I think you went. You did terrible. Everyone did terrible. Yeah, we all went. You went two and three. No, Jenks, you were one and four. Pat was one and four. Mikey was 0 and 5. Frank did okay. Frank was 3 and 2. But you have a crown now, so don't say that I won't give you your throne. I gave you a crown last week. Oh, I didn't see it last week. My bad. Um, and NCAA wasn't much better. Um, yeah, it went very bad too. Pat went 1 and 4 in that as well. And then uh, Mikey, Frank, and Jenks all went 2 and 3. Dude, we stunk this week. Hey, but that's fine. We always have a bloody Sunday. And, uh, yeah, well, uh, well, thanks to fucking Navy and deciding to go for two when they were down nine and they could have, when they were down uh, 11 and they could have covered, but if they would kick the extra point, but nope, they did not want to cover. 
Frank they, and I had the back door. They just needed to take an extra point. And they couldn't even, they were out of the game. They went for two for fun and didn't. And I want to sing my backdoor cover song. So should we hit our picks, Frank? Yeah, slap yeah. those picks in. Do you want to open? I have Pat's picks. My phone is well. fucking blowing up right now. Good God, what the fuck is going on? All right, I can open with mine. Should I go NFL, Mikey? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to take the Eagles minus seven. I'm taking Frank's Dolphins minus nine and a half. That's the double A, Jinx. That's the double A first. I do, I do this every week. I'm sorry. Yeah, you do. Okay. <laughs> Michigan's on a bye. Yeah, Mike, I thought that you didn't put the crown on just to fuck with me last week. Now I'm really confused. I said, no, stole. he's. He no. took it personally. Mike took that very personally. <laughs> oh, Mike. I thought you, I was joking. I thought you were he was so mad. Oh, he called God. me for an hour. So I called, yeah, we were on the phone for an hour talking about And it. on your birthday. Sorry I ruined your birthday. Happy didn't birthday. didn't get that okay. right there on the, on the phone call either. But, uh, go okay. ahead. So, picks. Michigan's on a bye week. ASU plus six. Troy minus four and a half. Wake Forest plus 20. Oklahoma minus 10. Maryland minus 13 and a half. All right, All right, my NCAA picks are going to be uh, Notre Dame minus 20 against Pitt. Uh, Pitt's not been very good this year. And uh, it's a home game for Notre Dame. I think Notre Dame's got to go out there and just blow the doors off of them. Uh, especially since they're coming off a of bye week. They had played like uh, eight straight weeks going back to fucking uh, Ireland in August. Uh, so finally a bye week and uh, they're refreshed. You should come out there and just blow the doors off of them. Uh, next up, uh, I'm not saying they're going to win the game. I don't think they're going to win the game. But I think Wisconsin is going to have uh, Ohio State sweating in the fourth quarter. I'm thinking Wisconsin plus 14 and a half. Uh, at times, Ohio State's offense kind of lags. And I just think Wisconsin hangs in that game long enough to hold uh, to get the cover. I'm um, taking Louisville uh, minus four against Duke. Uh, Duke's very banged up right now. I think Louisville just crushes them. Uh, I'm agreeing with you, uh, Jenks, on one pick. I think Wake Forest might even upset Florida State. 20 point spread? Big spread. That is a big spread. Wake Forest isn't bad. And Florida State. Has kind of looked a little vulnerable last few weeks, even though they came out and scored 21 points in the uh, fourth quarter after trailing to beat Duke last week. I don't think they're beating Wake Forest by 20 points. And uh, upset of the week. Florida, plus 14 and a half. They might beat Georgia. Wow. Georgia is due for a loss. Florida is playing well. I'm taking the Gators plus 14 and a half. Yeah, if Georgia wins this game, which they probably will, 70% chance. I think Florida at least covers 14 and a half. Sprinkle a little money line. I'm not going money line, but I'm going 14 and a half. Sprinkle. Yeah, maybe a little sprinkle. One eight hundred game. Right now, my, my <laughs> game, yeah. Well, uh, if I sprinkle on the money line, that will get sure Georgia will win. Yes, you know I picked the Phillies tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I picked the Lakers tonight, so my uh, updated losing streak is now two hundred and twenty-one straight uh, losses. Oh, diamond shoes! All right, should I hit NFL, Frank, or you want to go first? I'll go first in the NFL. I'm going to take the Bills on Thursday night minus eight and a half. Baker Mayfield. I mean, the, the dough doesn't rise with him. <laughs> Neither do the Buccaneers. Um, I'm nervous about the Dolphin game. They played like shit last week. They have their offensive line's kind of banged up. But there's one thing that's good. The one fucking game that they're wearing the goddamn fucking throwback uniforms is this weekend. Nice. The beautiful Love it. throwback uniforms. Nice. Minus nine and a half. Nice. They should wear the throwback uniforms permanently. 
the more they wear them, the happier I am. I should have wore it Sunday when the Eagles wore their toe-back uniforms. How great did those look? And they're beautiful. Awesome. Those uniforms are beautiful. They should always wear those. Those were awesome. I am taking the Vikings in a pick -em game against the Packers. That's ball. Jordan loves socks. Jordan, Jordan loves socks. The Packers suck. They stink, Frank. They stink. They're so bad. They stink. Fuck the Packers. The Packers stink. The Vikings, so bad. The, Vikings, the Vikings look like they're finding their groove after beating the 49ers last week. Of course, I had the 49ers. And... Uh, <laughs> Frank, let me know what picks you take to, um, this week, okay? And uh, I'm taking uh, the uh, Jets. They've played well going into their bye week. The Jets are 2-10 and ten in the last 12 bye weeks. They've lost like six straight games off of bye weeks. In the New York Bowl, which was the MetLife Bowl before they got rid of uh, – the Snoopy Bowl before they got rid of us, before Snoopy got uh, canceled by MetLife, and now they have boring, dull commercials and boring, dull logos. They used to have a nice statue of Snoopy out in front of MetLife Stadium. But why did Snoopy get canceled, that, Frank? What the hell? They said that uh, no, uh, nobody cares about a dog from the 60s. And it's like nobody cares about peanuts anymore. I have a I have a tattoo of uh, Snoopy on my on my uh, body. And the, and the Jets and Giants used to play in preseason. <laughs> I do. The Jets and Giants used to play for the Snoopy Trophy. On my body, where else would a tattoo be? Uh, you don't want to know. Um, so I'm taking I am taking the Giants plus three. Wow. Love Is that five? five? No. And my last pick, the Carolina Panthers. Whoa. Get their first win of the year. Whoa. Battle of, battle of the draft picks. Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, Carolina gets their first win. They're listed as a two-point dog. Panthers plus three. All right. I am <laughs> nine points across the board this week. Eagles minus seven. I think they're going to win by at least 10. Dolphins minus nine and a half. I think they're going to come out really pissed off and actually blow the doors off the game. I'm going against Frank and taking the Jets minus two and a half. I understand the history, but I honestly think this year's Jets team just has different heart and a different kind of spirit than Jets teams we've seen in the past. And I think the Giants are pretty feeble despite having a decent week. I think they're going to lose. I'm taking my Lions minus eight, which is a little ballsy after they got their, you know, face curb stomp last week. But I can only imagine how riled up Dan Campbell's going to have them. And then Chiefs minus eight. I think they should be laying more points. So uh, I feel good about that one. All right. Now it's time for Ask Tank. And Ask Tank is brought to you by Sprecher. You know, Sprecher brews good things and the uh, top question, we'll be getting a Sprecher package, including uh, some soda and uh, a hat. And uh, for Sprecher, when you order Sprecher, you can even get personalized soda labels. Look at this. It's me. So uh, order your Sprecher. We say brew good things. They hear the sodas are fire brewed in gas kettles. And uh, when we go out to uh, Chicago, we're going to make a side trip up to Milwaukee and check out the plant. Uh, where they have uh, gas flower kettles that, that get a unique formulation of flavor, and they're sweetened with local honey, and they're made in small batches, and, and uh, you can taste the difference in quality. And they're available in a wide variety of flavors, including the Sprecher Root Beer, Cream Soda, Cherry Cola, and my personal favorites, Orange Dream and Grape Soda. So check out the Sprecher family of family of sodas at sprecherbrewery.com. They have other things too, like Green River Soda. So check it out. And you get 10% off your order by using code Frank at checkout. So visit sprecherbrewery.com at sprecherbrewery.com. Use promo code Frank for 10% off your deal. You're the order and you can even order these. Like oh! Personalized sodas. That's sick. Frank, hold that up closer to the screen. That looked really cool. Yeah. Love it. Oh, up yeah. Uh, baseball update, pitch and change for the Dimebacks. Phillies have two runners on base with one out. 
Will the Phillies score? Are the Diamondbacks going to close this out? What is your prediction right now, Frank? The Phillies win the game. Wow. Annie I'm here picked, for it. Annie picked the Phillies. No, I'm so scared. Go for the Diamondbacks. <laughs> well, I, I, I bet on the Phillies today. Yeah, I know. So well, good for you having the confidence after 176 consecutive losses. Uh, it's 221. Oh, sorry, we forgot you lost 37 in the last 24 minutes. Jeez, Frank. Uh, so, um, <laughs> 1 800 gambling, Frank. Literally. <laughs> yeah, well, Diamond Shoes has had to. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't won a game of blackjack in uh, uh, three and a half weeks. Uh, when I get 20, the dealer gets 21. Even my, I have had uh, the last nine times I've had blackjack, they've all been pushes. With the dealer having a suited blackjack, diamond shoes, pesky Pete. Who's the other one? Sneaky Susie. Sneaky Susie. Anyways, we and, should. Uh, have and, 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 and there's Crooked Colin. Crooked Colin. Who speaks to the Irish yes. throat. Who's got red hair and speaks to the Irish throat. For the listeners, these are legitimate online blackjack dealers that Frank claims mocks him, sings, dances in his face while they continuously hit 21. <laughs> Ask the tank. All right. Ready to rock roll? Yeah, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 your crooked college says, uh, Oh, hi, lady. I have got the luck of the Irish today, and, and you got the, nothing at all. That was uh that was an Irish accent for sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is uh from Tennis for Life. Do you plan on attending a, a Dolphin playoff game, assuming they make it? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Maybe, maybe three quarters. Yeah, maybe three quarters. Yeah, we'll yeah, see. That's not happening again. <laughs> um, this one is from. Adrian Ars, will the Pirates finish the season above 500 and a snag a wild card spot for next season? No. To the Pirates. What do you do with a shitty ball club? What do you do with a shitty ball club? What do you do with a shitty ball club? Name Pittsburgh Pirates. Their owner is Bob Nutting. He does nothing and knows nothing. When we went to the Central Zoo, we saw a parrot, and Frank said, Jenk, start recording. And he said, in the 1970s, the Pirates mascot was a parrot, and he dealt cocaine to several of the players. And then the parrot at the zoo started kind of inching away under the accusations from Frank. Look it sense. up. It's yeah. true. It is you very true. A, uh, Mikey Betts, no, you know, you know it's true, right? You've you heard the story. I, Frank, uh, I know it's true because we've had the same talk because I told you the old Bulls mascot got caught with a quarter pound of weed and then you won <laughs> on me on that story. Do you know, do you, do you know at, the, at the trial, do you know why to testify against the parrot for, and get an immunity? Oh. Keith Hernandez. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you had to testify in the mascot trial? That's awesome. Yeah, it, it would be more funny if they had to like testify in the mascot. Uniform like that would be hilarious. <laughs> yes. Like he had to go. Basically, as basically, like 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 a whole bunch of players that went, that like would, would go into make go trips to Pittsburgh and get the drugs from the parrot. Dude, that is so fucking funny. I just like, you, I you just hope, like I hope there's security footage somewhere of the guy in costume dealing the coke because that would be with the parrot like, hand, yeah, with the yeah, parrot exactly. hand. I think <laughs> you, you, gotta love the 80s. you gotta love you gotta the eighties. You gotta love the eighties. It's only in the eight, only in the eighties. <sighs> Can baseball players get get cocaine from a parrot mascot? Yeah, bring, no, bring back those 80s. good old days, huh? I miss the eighties. All right, uh, this one is from Young Guapo ninety six. Uh, will the Dolphins beat the Chiefs in Germany? I hope so. They got to be the winning team. I mean, I'm tired of the I'm tired of ESPN, Stephen A. and and. Uh, He's got me felt by uh, square dancing to the terms of the dolphins. He saw it. He's singing the dolphins are frauds. This is part of the uh, VR rank experience. Yeah, see what I'm saying here? Um, <laughs> all right, last question. This is from Harrison Scott, and he wins the random uh, selection for the Sprecher gift. Make sure you are following Sprecher Brewery on X, well, formerly Twitter. Um, Frank, would you rather it's see the Twitter. Mets? 
they did. They could so they they could put that X up there, say that they're X, but it's like when Prince changed his name. <laughs> Just like it, actually, Prince, Frank, formerly yeah. known as Twitter. Identical. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, would you rather see? Oh my! This is actually a pretty dark question. Uh, would you rather see the Mets win a World Series or see Blooper six feet under? <laughs> I'd rather. He's I mean, thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Frank, would you rather see Blooper? I'd rather see the Mets. <laughs> I'd rather see the Mets win the World Series because I know the Mets win the World Series would put Blooper six feet under. Woo! There you go. All right. <laughs> It's a fly ball, two pop-ups. The Diamondbacks are out of the inning. The Phillies are down to six outs, still trailing four to two. Plus four nine. Right now, right now, Fox, right now, Fox executives are going, no, 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 no. You know why? Just imagine this. Boom. Boom. Tune into the Fox for the World Series in 2023, where the Arizona Diamondbacks are taking on the Texas Rangers. Yes, that's right. The Arizona Diamondbacks versus the Texas Rangers. A game that if ESPN could show a test pattern on a Sunday night, they would show a test pattern over these two teams. <laughs> could you imagine that less appealing World Series matchup to the suits and the, and the, and the people I wouldn't be surprised if the World Series gets shifted to uh, to FS1 uh, so they could show uh, more Lego Masters in that uh, stupid cartoon, Crapopolis. I mean, that, that show literally puts the crap in the word crap. I mean, it looks like shit. That's why it's called Crapopolis. And the other great shows are Fox. Uh, uh, the 911, 911 Lone Star, and soon to come, 911 Sheboygan. <laughs> Break. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I mean, it's. I mean, I mean, I mean. See, uh, NBC has the Chicago Tuesday and all the Law and Orders. They just keep cranking up the same shit. And meanwhile, there's now and in there. See, this the, the, the shows of CBS, FBI, FBI missing person, FBI International, followed by NCIS, NCIS New Orleans, NCIS New York, NCIS Los Angeles, and now NCIS Hawaii. Now, coming soon, is NCIS Australia. <laughs> NC it's N it's NCIS. We're not going to be CBS anymore. We are NCIS. <laughs> NCIS. NCIS. Every show is the same. The scripts are the same. The script we use for NCIS New York this year, next year we'll use for NCIS Chicago. And coming soon, the return of CSI. I like Frank, I know they're mad as hell that you just stole their whole fucking marketing idea for next year. We're no. How, how did he know? How did he know? We're NCIS. NCIS. And, uh, <laughs> and meanwhile, on uh, NBC, you got uh, all the Chicago shows and then Law and Order. Law and Order Criminal Intent. Law and Order SVU. And soon. It's coming soon. Law and Order. Law, oh, there's also Law and Order Organized Crime. And coming soon. Law and Order SUV. That's right. Law and Order. Auto death unit. <laughs> My friend. I think it's SVU Special Victims Unit, not SUV. <laughs> All right. Guys. No, that's coming. That's coming out next year. It's yeah, yeah gonna exactly. Law and Order. Is... It's going to be a Law and Order SVU followed by Law and Order SUV, which is uh, Auto Death Unit. <laughs> Makes sense, Frank. That definitely checks out. Now they're going to have to go back to the drawing board tomorrow because you just fucked up their whole scheme. Their no whole, uh, the automobile theft unit. Oh, NCIS. Uh, I, I, I mean, uh, I mean uh, every, everything on TV now is reboots or just clone shows. Reboots. How it is. Shows. I mean, uh, they brought back Frasier. Yeah, let it let it end. They brought back Roseanne. That didn't go well. And then they brought back the Connors. They always bring back shows, Frank. It's, it's well, well, they brought, the, the Connors came out of Roseanne because Roseanne got canceled. Yeah, she got canceled. Well, yeah, she personally got canceled. She got canceled. Uh, yeah, and now they got come back. Uh, making a comeback. Uh, no, it's uh, the Diamondbacks are batting in the eighth. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> what about Roseanne? I was talking about Roseanne, Frank. Yeah, Roseanne keeps tripling down on crazy takes, so she's gonna have a hard time coming back. Yeah, she's uh, no, she's never coming back. She's not coming <laughs> back. Yeah, I don't think she wants to come back, Mikey. I don't think she wants to come back. No way. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Right now, right now she's uh, right now she'd have a great time talking to uh, the the squad over there. Who? <laughs> the squad. The seed to leave. Uh, oh Omar. my God, Frank! Uh, all right, this has been allowing me to be Frank. You know, shout out. Yeah, see you guys, see you guys next Frank? week. Uh, uh, what should I sing? I had a song in my head. Now it's gone. Back in the New York groove. No, that wasn't it. But uh, but TV is accessible. This is for this one. Network television. I mean, the only reason the only reason shows work on CBS is they go to Grandma's uh, the, the room at the nursing house. They put on the TV, and Grandma can't turn the channel. <laughs> That's or how the, the views stay up. Doctor's office where you have to watch the View to get your stress levels up. Terrible. Why is your blood pressure so high? <laughs> I'll turn off the TV. You just made me watch the View for an hour, motherfucker. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, guys. We'll see you guys next week. Yep. See you next week. All right.